Hey there, Lepter here. Welcome to one of the most hardest Minecraft mods there is, RL Craft. Now, I do want to know, I have played a little bit of this before, mainly with friends and by myself, but I did not make it too, too far. But I do know at least the very basics of this, uh, this mod pack. So, if you're new to RL Craft, one of the first things I need to do is get some gravel and some sticks. Because you have to make, like, flint tools. Oh god, we're gonna run away from that. But one of the first things you need to do is make some flint tools, because you cannot chop down trees normally. You can't, like punch them they fall down or you can't like punch them and get a block from it you have to use stone or flint or any other tools in order to harvest the uh harvest the trees what on earth is that oh no 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 leave me alone leave me alone leave me alone i'm sorry i'm sorry i disturbed you you know i think this might be our death already man that you know what not the shortest time i've ever died not the shortest uh where are we oh yeah again if you're new here you respawn in a completely random area after you die you don't respawn where you came from unless you have like a bed or something but that's the only way you can like respawn back where you came from but let's see this seems to be a lot nicer of an area i think i'll build a house here but in order to do that we need to get some tools some resources and just kind of try to survive i guess it does look like there's something over there not entirely sure but we're gonna get some sticks and i have to do that by chopping down these leaves here we need about two of them to make it a bit easier on ourselves all right there we go we got two sticks now we gotta get some gravel which i hope there's some nearby i see a little house here not entirely certain what's inside anything bad or good uh just a normal house all right well uh we'll have that be a backup measure till we like make a proper house oh wait can we get sticks from dead bushes oh we can oh that's so cool but again we need to get some gravel as soon as possible oh some cows they will be very useful in the future but let us see let us see no gravel around here oh we got some gravel here perfect oh that's what i was looking for now we can get some flint yeah i'm gonna try to get a couple pieces of gravel here because we need as much flint as possible but all right so in order to make some uh tools here with flint we have to smack it on some rocks and the rock that we're smacking it on is the stone it has to be like any stone blocks so you just smack it a couple times there you go flint shards and you just kind of craft some tools now this first tool is a flint knife the flint knife is very useful to get some plant fiber <gasps> oh no that was a mistake no okay so there is a chance you can like have stuff spawn in if you like smack the wrong like or small uh or not small uh smack the wrong uh bush tree whatever and we were unfortunate to get whatever the hell that thing is uh we need to get some plant uh plant fiber oh god i'm stuttering over words now okay we're gonna we're gonna kind of hide real quick because I don't want to face that thing just yet. But the first thing we're going to do is make some plant string uh, with some fiber. Do something like this. And we get a hatchet. That will allow us to chop down some trees. We should probably get some more flint shards. Because I want to make sure we can uh, get some more plant fiber. I really hope that thing isn't out there still. You out here still? Think it might be gone. I'm not certain. Regardless, we're going to be chopping down a tree or two. think this would be a pretty good tree to start off with. Ooh, you do have to be careful as well. Because the trees can like collapse on top of you and kill you. Let's get some cactus while we're at it as well. Okay. Whew. Was a little worried there. Now we don't want to be inside the heat for too long. Because of the fact we could like overheat and start like dying from that. As well as like get too cold and die from you know freezing. Some hyper and hypothermia. Ooh get out of the way of that tree. That almost hit me if I did not do that. Ooh, acacia seed give me some wood yeah there you go okay so it looks like the little tree monster is still there um i'm gonna try to just walk around it oh never mind it's gone perfect all right we're back inside the house i'm gonna show you guys how to also get some wood so you can't get it normally you can't like go into your inventory do that no you have to have like a saw for that however you can right click the top of wood and get some planks like that and then same thing goes if you want like sticks before you make a saw but for now, we got plenty of sticks. Thankfully, crafting table is just the same type of process for a normal Minecraft playthrough. And then we need to make some tools with some wood. So let me get a couple more pieces here. And there we go. One wooden pickaxe up and ready. Now, before I head out, before I head out, I do want to start making some wool so that way we can make a bed. Because I want to kind of keep this as a proper area of resting. And that will require a lot of plant fiber. Sorry for the lag. I don't know why it takes a lot on my computer. 
but it kind of just lags a lot when I like break a bunch of plants. But there we go. Three wool, one bed, and boom. Now we just gotta wait for nighttime, sleep in it, and we should be set to go. Now I think before it turns to nighttime, we got a little bit beforehand. Uh, I'm gonna get some stone, start working on like stone resources, and then just kind of progress as I go. Oh uh, yeah, I completely forgot. You don't get normal cobblestone. You get the uh, rocks, and then you have to transform it into cobblestone. That's gonna be that's gonna be a little annoying to re uh, remember doing that. Thankfully, however, this should not be too much of an issue for us as long as we uh, kind of focus on getting our full set of tools and a furnace so that way we can like start smelting stuff later on. And there we go. I think that should be more than enough if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, thirty. Two. let's go all right let's start crafting some items here first one is going to be a pickaxe because we do want to start working on some iron layer on however we do need to get some experience points and whatnot in order to like level up and be able to like mine some of that stuff which i will show you guys all of that when we do get to that but there we go we got furnace as well uh we should probably start looking into getting some food uh what's nearby okay got a little stuck there that was weird uh, what's nearby that I can quickly kill? Because we have, like, no crops. Uh, don't want to kill the cows. The cows will be useful in the future. Ah, there we go. That dinosaur thing. So these dinosaur things, they may seem a little scary, but they absolutely do nothing. Oh, we also got some, like, makas, I think they're called. I'm not entirely certain what their name is, but I do believe they're makas. They also don't really, like, do anything at all either. But we're gonna kill the Ariasaur. So give me your uh, food, please. Man, they have a lot of health here. And there we go. Give me that beautiful food. Gonna chop down this tree while I'm at it. And then kill some of these Makkas. Hello, Makka. You got some food for me? Come on. Stop running. Stop running. Ooh, we should probably have to kill this guy. Head back home and cook some food. Because I'm at two hunger bar. And I'm running out of water. Now, I do know... I do know we could technically drink straight out of the water by, like, shift right-clicking. But that can give us, like, thirsty or we have some, like, parasites. And I'd rather not deal with all of that. So, we're just gonna make some glass bottles when we can. Uh, I gotta make our way back home first. Hey, you don't see me, buddy. You don't see me. Yeah. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Uh, let me actually grab some glass or, I guess, sand to make into glass. So that we can uh, kind of start drinking some water here soon. All right, let me... I think food would be more important at the moment. And then water, because we can always like very reliably drink some water. Even though it makes us like thirsty or parasites. Oh yeah, with some of the like the new creatures, we get these like little health boosts or like mining boosts or whatever boosts, like effects. And I think that's pretty cool. Makes it a lot easier to like do some other task and whatnot. You're fighting like, I don't know, a dragon or something. Okay, there we go. I turned off the fog because I realized that may look a little weird to you guys and it looked a little weird to me. So there we go. We can actually see uh, a lot farther. I thought there was something around me. Let's see. Ooh, it's a mob spawner. We gotta be very careful here. Oh yeah, my screen's starting fuzzy because we did not, uh, did not get any water yet. Not gonna lie, completely forgot about getting some water right here, but thankfully they stacked the uh, bottles here so we can just very easily smelt it all drink it and continue forward with exploring ah a nice cup of refreshing water oh come on you can make it you can make it yeah there you go i thought it was gonna be a little too late for that but let's see we have two levels right here i think the best thing would be mining because you need to be like specific levels for some things for like iron is like level four diamonds is like level eight or something like that and we have to like kind of just keep on progressing depending on like what type of tool or resource we want to use slash get and it's a bit annoying but it's a lot of fun and i see some beautiful iron right down here oh i want to grab that straight away but we need to wait we need to wait we need to level up first which we can easily do by getting some coal right here all right 15 coal not bad not bad uh we should probably start walking around see what we can like kill and whatnot get some like passive xp Ooh, pigs that would be very good for some xp i think pigs are like the most useless mobs that we can get in our craft because they're not really that useful you get like tallow and their food but that's about it and tallow doesn't really doesn't really help for really much of anything so i don't really bother too much with it oh this was a village i thought this was like a random house here what the hell are you oh we gotta be careful there we do got a little puppy here how you doing puppy dog how you doing yeah we got a death worm that's what you're calling 
Oh, you are terrifying. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. I don't want to cross you. Let's see. What's inside this house right here? Want to see what type of loot you got? So far, nothing. You got anything upstairs? No. Just a, uh, just a random house. Feel bad for the dogs and cats. I saw one of them just die from the death worm. Because, like, their owner's gone. I don't think they're going to be back. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I wish I could take you. I would. I very much would do so. I'm going to heal you up, though. You get boy. You get boy. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to, like, try to cross this without the death worm attacking me. Do you think we can do it? I think so. Go! Oh, there's multiple. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Nope. We're not, uh, we're not gonna go that direction too much. We're just gonna kind of get some resources here. Ah, oh, we got some diamonds and stuff already, but we can't use any of this. We need defense eight and we need mining eight. Ah, oh, that sucks. That so sucks. Ooh, we got a lot of wood though. That is beautiful. I would love to see more of that. We can always come back here. I don't know why I'm like trying to like loot everything and be like, oh no, we need it now, now, now. Ooh, we got a little blacksmith. Oh, obsidian. Oh, we are one piece away from already going to the uh, nether. Man, imagine that, going to the nether on like day one. I'm not actually gonna do that. That would be way too overpowered. Oh, we got a clock. Oh, that clock would be so useful. We can tell like the time and whatnot. That is gonna be super useful. Okay, I'm gonna start heading back. Try not to deal with these death worms. Oh god, there's one right there. Run, run, run. It's also a bit too hot in the desert as well. I don't wanna like deal with too much of the heat here. Are you good, death worm? You're kinda just stuck there. Can you not do anything? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. My curiosity is getting the best of me. I'm gonna kill it. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. You pack a wall up. Oh, jeez. I have no clue where that thing went. I guess we killed it? Oh, I hope it's not like inside me like a uh, alien creature type of thing. Like a xenomorph. Because uh, don't really need anything like popping out of my chest anytime soon. What on earth are you? Oh, you are terrifying. Nuh-uh. Nope. Nope. We're going back home. We're going back home. Okay, I don't think this was here before. I really don't think that was there before. Regardless, we're going to be upgrading a couple things here first and heading back home. All right, let's cook some food real quick. We need to make some chests. I'm going to make some oak chests right here. I think eight would be more than enough here. Oh, this was before they fixed that stuff. Ah. Oh. Man, I do not miss that where you like had to have a trap chest or something in between. All right, we should probably focus on getting some wool from that village area because we can use the wool to make like string and make bandages out of that because that would be super useful because I don't know if you guys saw if you're like never played RO craft before, um, but each time you get hit, it affects a certain part of your body and the head and your like body body your chest area is the most like vulnerable part so if that goes like zero you die so i could have like full hearts and everything take like three hearts of damage to the head and my character just dies straight away all right finally a brand new day i still i still don't like these things flying around you are terrifying go away shoo shoo i'm gonna grab the pesticide if you uh come near me anyway back to what i was doing i'm gonna be what the hell are you? No, 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 Great, we got flying bug monsters, Satan spawns, and goddamn giant death worms. Wonder what else this game is gonna throw at me. Okay, let's see what's inside these houses here. Nothing too useful. Leather, I will take you actually. And let's see, what level do we need to be? Two. Okay, I thought so. Farming is actually pretty useful. And getting some wheat will make us get the cow sooner. Let's see, what are you? Ah, some food. Yes, we can always do it with some more food. And we got a helmet here. We can actually wear this one, I believe. Yep, perfect. Oh, hang on. Big brain, big brain. Uh, cauldrons. Cauldrons can actually be used to, like, purify water better. Especially if you get, like, a piece of netherrack. Which, hang on. There is burning stuff over there. That means there's netherrack over there. Give me some fire. Yes. Yes, we can actually make some purified water without using our, like, fuel source. All right, let us see what's in here. Can't exactly mine that. I have no clue what that is. Um, so what will it be? What will it be? Uh, I think these are, like, wheat. Yeah, some wheat seeds. Not bad. What are you? 
can't exactly mine you either. Okay. Uh, ooh, that is good. That is good. We need agility too. We could probably do that as well. Uh, agility two. There we go. Now let's grab this clock right here. That will be very useful for us. Uh, grab some of this as well. String and sugar cane and paper. Those are all also very useful. Pretty much everything is very, very useful. So I may be saying that a lot here and there. However, I still believe that the most useful block is the wool block. Thinking about it, now that we have some cows or we're going to get some cows set up, we should probably look into getting some sheep in the future as well. Because we would probably need to... Oh, hey, some sheep. But uh, we should probably use them in order to uh, get some wool. Like an infinite source of wool. Oh yeah, I should probably mention you can only grow crops in like certain seasons. Uh, so like wheat is like a summer fall season. Carrots are like summer, spring and summer. Potatoes are just like spring, I believe. It is a whole system and there is like a uh, clock thing you can make. Like a little season clock um but that is like way down the line oh i never purified these water oh that's no good that is no good Ooh, we got an enchantment table can we break you no level 12 that's mm, a little out of our reach here okay i think i want to head home i want to purify some of this water oh no 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 ah, ah, ah. leave me alone leave me alone i'm sick and tired of everything trying to kill me so far okay that's uh that's a bit unique oh we can actually... Oh, it's a chair. It's a chair. No, it's not. It's a bed. Okay, I'm a little confused now. I thought it was just like a weird chair considering the fact, you know, we sat on it. But, uh, guess it's a bed? Weird. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Whatever. Regardless, we're gonna head home. We're gonna focus on getting a little cow farm up and going. And then, let's see. What do we want to do after that? probably try to get some levels and start mining a bit more i will be honest i don't exactly have like much of a game plan here it's just mainly uh mainly seeing what we can and can't do you know i really hope i don't die of uh dehydration because that would be that would be a really bad way to go <gasps> okay not gonna lie was a little worried i would get like a second tick and just Okay, uh, let's get started actually real quick on purifying our water source here. I'm gonna do something like this, something like this, and do we have iron? No. Okay, once we get some iron, we're gonna like place some fire here, just so that way we can like start purifying water much easier. However, like I said, we should probably get started on that cow farm. Let's see, we got our cobble up here. Gonna need a little more than that. But we can make a little like jumpable pathway here once we get the walls up and going. Only six. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need a lot more than that. So let's see. I think about I think about down here would be a pretty good area for a cow farm. Like around this section here. Two, three, four, five. We'll do a little five by five. I think that'll be more than enough. Ooh, I do know these guys. They can heal me up very easily, which is what I really need because I took a lot of damage from like dying of dehydration there all right i think that's more than enough cobblestone let's make some walls okay i'm not gonna lie that a uh, little numb scared me i thought i was like oh dragon oh yeah that is way more than enough cobblestone we should probably make a second batch for the uh sheep when we get it but cows are more important at the moment so one two three four five and there should be a nice little five by five area yep and let's get some cows. Ooh, it's turning nighttime. Let's do this fast. Uh, let's see if we can kind of do a little bridgeway here to grab these cows over here. Because I think we're going to need a lot of dirt. All right, cows, come with me. We're going to a nice little land of love and care. You know, totally not death, destruction, and everything inside this mob pack. There we go. See? That was very easy. Good job, cows. Good job. We're gonna place a little carpet right here so we can like jump to and from. All right, Cal, you're gonna need to move so I can place a carpet here, please. Pretty please. Pretty please. Let's get out of here. Thank you. All right, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go. Oh, am I being attacked by something? Oh, no, it's the uh, other version of the, the, the wisp. Uh, wisp. Man, I had a lisp. I'm gonna sleep real quick before I grab the sheep because I don't wanna don't wanna deal with any monsters just coming out of nowhere. I'm still gonna deal with that, but it will be a lot easier in the daytime. Now I can finally kill cows in peace, not have to worry about oh no, I need to have them alive or anything. 
But I should probably kill some of these marker things. Get some uh, XP and food. All right, let's find some sheeperonis nearby. I still hate that death worm. Why are you here? Why are you there? You know what? You know what? I think this would be a pretty good screenshot right here. Get a little close. A little close up and personal here. Hey, bud. Hey, bud, you want to look at me? If you turn around, that would be very cool. You know what? I'm going to try to get its attention. We're going to do something like this. Oh, actually, not that bad. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hang on. Screenshot, please. No? Okay. I'm not going to lie. I knew I was going to die. So that's why I like pretty much just focus on getting the screenshot and not killing it. Ooh, okay. I think they like destroy some of the terrain here and whatnot. That's intriguing. That is intriguing. I'm not going to lie. I'm not certain how we're supposed to like kill this thing when it's not stuck and whatnot. So we're going to try to figure out a way in the future because I feel like this is not going to be the last we're going to see of this. Anyway, we're going to kind of just focus on killing this thing. I'm intrigued to see what the big guy dropped. Probably nothing. Probably the same thing. Uh, looks to be. Yeah. Oh, no, he dropped something. Uh, giant death worm, Mick. What do we do with this? Uh, doesn't seem to pull up anything in the JEE or JEI, so probably... Can we get a pet? <gasps> oh, that would be so cool, having a pet death worm. Oh, I love that. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, god. Back off, you pre creature... Creature, I don't know what to call you. Creok, Cracky, something. I don't know what to call that thing. I think it was like a Creok or something like that. Uh, Kirak, Kirak, something, something, rear crustacean. Looks like a, a piece of krill, not gonna lie. I like krill or jumbo shrimp or crawfish. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's back. Oh, they're fighting, they're fighting. Uh, I'm gonna try to just help this guy out here, the little blue guy. Blue guys don't really do much as far as, like, hurting me goes, so... As long as I don't hurt it. Let's see, what can we make with this? Oh, we can make some armor? Oh, that is so cool. We need to kill some more of these death worms. Oh, we are level 8. We definitely need to start upgrading our stuff here. Uh, mining all the way. Level 2 now. I think defense would probably be the way to go. Start getting, like, better armor. I'm gonna try to kill this crustacean monster here. Oh, crap. Did not mean to attack the dog. No, I'm sorry, Fido. Oh, I feel so bad. Um, but I think pretty much all the... No, 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 no. There's another wolf. Oh, hey, you're not mad at me still, are you? Um, because I, I like to apologize. No, I don't think we got on the right foot here. Here, have some, have some food. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back away here. Not gonna deal with that. Think all the sheeps are now dead because of that wolf. So gonna have to scratch off getting some sheeperonis. At least for now. I think what I'll do is start collecting some of these chests right here. I think that would probably be a smart thing to do since, you know, we'll be able to get a lot of resources from like the wood and whatnot here. All right, I need to empty out my inventory because we need to have a clean inventory in order to get all that resources. All right, uh, are these purified? No, they're not. Okay, definitely gonna need to get this purified because I don't want to, I don't want to start dying of dehydration again. All right, just need to get a couple more of these melons and I think we're good. Anything in here? No. Okay, uh, but I think we're good. Not gonna go for the wool just yet. We can always come back for it. What are you? Oh, bounty boards. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. We're not doing one fire dragon heart. You got me messed up. What the hell is that thing? That's a, that's a turn around and don't look back type of thing. That's, mm -hmm, yep, that's what it is. Ah, my bounty expired. Never mind. Guess we can't do this. Uh, gonna kind of just get rid of this then can i get a new one please Ooh, we got some mummies how are you guys doing crypt keepers okay you're not mummies you're crypt keepers gotcha gotcha um do you do a lot of damage can i just cheese you guys a little bit Ooh, you kind of hit from far oh i gotta sneeze but i gotta run away oh god okay i'm gonna sleep first and then try to attack those things because i had to really sneeze right there all right let's see here let's do this again bam one more time. Bam. There we go. We just got to finish off the rest of these guys. I have no clue what aphagia, aphagia, I don't know. Whatever you pronounce that as. I have no clue what that is. But all right, let's take one more look around, see if there's anything unique or cool. Maybe some sheeps would be a bit cool. Again, get out of here. 
Gonna get some pesticides. Ah, sheep. Perfect. Okay. Uh, ah, oh, I left the wood back. Uh, not wood, the wheat back at home. You know, I should probably get some chickens. That'll be very useful for their feathers. Make a lot of arrows with that. But at the moment, sheeps are more important. And then chickens, because we got a lot of chickens around here. All right, let me grab some sheeperonis here. I'm going to try to grab all of them. I'll probably not need all of them, but I'm going to grab all of them. I'm going to kind of just sneak around, try to collect all the sheeps here. Could probably get some health. Let me get some health real quick, and then we'll continue forward. Ah, there we go. Back to full health. Come here, sheeperoni. Going to need you to follow me to your lovely little pen. All right, there we go. We got one sheep, two sheep. Uh, three sheep. I think I'm going to go to bed. All right. On a serious note right here, we're going to get some more resources. We can actually mine the iron down here. And I do want to get some more cobblestone because I do want to get some chickens. So we need a couple more walls for that. I do have to be careful because there is a chance something will like jump out of these ores here and just completely scare me. Okay, we're good. Whew, not going to lie. Oh, there's more iron. You know what? We don't need it. We don't need it right now. We just turn back. We're safe. Okay, we got some iron right here. Gonna grab that real quick. And then we'll... Oh, that's what I was talking about. No, 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 no. My ankles are being broken. Stop it. Stop it. Back away. Back away. Does a pickaxe do more damage? I hope so. Oh, it seems to be perfect. No. Oh, ha. Damn it. That's what I was talking about. Something will spawn out of those rocks and kill me. And it did. It spawned out of the rocks and kill me oh it can fly i forgot about that part oh that's not exactly what i wanted i wanted my pickaxe here okay got my pickaxe we're gonna kill him kill him oh, okay we're good we're good oh, net of quartz oh if we had one more we could make a clock with that uh hang on do we yeah we need one more we can make a season clock ah uh, okay we're out of there don't have to worry about any more like rock golem things or whatever they are all right i don't think we needed this many walls but i like to keep it a bit symmetrical ah there we go we got the clicking 10 sir clicking 10 and miss sir clicking 10 all right we're gonna get some purified water like a renewable source of it up and going right here so that way we don't have to use like a furnace over there man how long okay there we go i was about to say how long does it take to get flint i broke that block like 30 times but there we go and let's see cauldron 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 uh, uh oh that's not a good sign where are my cauldrons <gasps> No, don't tell me. Don't tell me I lost them. Ah. All right, fine. I'll make another one. Do -do 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 -do. And dude, there we go. Bam. Now we don't have to worry about water from here on out being smelted inside the furnace. And you know what? Just to be a little safe here, we're going to get a bucket of water, place it inside, and have that be a lot easier than going in and out. Oh, what the hell? Oh, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. What on earth are you? Oh, crap. Oh, thank God we fell above the water. Oh, what on earth was that? A rock? Come on, Dwayne. Why did you grab me? All right. I think I'm going to break this block right here. Just kind of have this pillared out. And bam. There we go. Now I can just easily do something like this. And this. And I think we should be good. Yeah, purify water. Well, all right. I think that'll be pretty much it for this episode. I thought it was a pretty good episode. I know it's a little different from my like normal content here, but I thought it would be pretty fun to do a modern Minecraft series because usually we do like hardcore survival or normal survival and I wanted to do something unique. Yeah, I can't wait to see what else this mod pack has in store for us. I really want to like start working on getting better armor and whatnot because we are being jumped by everything at this point and I don't like that. I really don't like that. But alas, that will be for another time so if you guys did like the video please like comment subscribe and yeah without the way this has been lip 20 signing out bye bye